This is lesson two, part two. We already did the outline of the Gemara, so now we'll just read it inside. Tanan, we learned in a Mishnah. It's going to be a question on Rabbi Yechanan. Hey, about Kaira Rishon, if the owner of the beam, Kaira is a beam, was walking first, like a one. Ubal Chavasachran, and the owner of the barrel, barrel was last. Now, Nishbra Chavas Bekaira, if the barrel breaks on the beam, so the halacha is Pater. Uh, Nishbra means breaks, Chavas Bekaira, the barrel on the beam, is Pater. Vim Amad Bal if the Bal stood or stopped, then the halacha is Chayev. My love, is it not? My does, does not mean why, my means what? So it's like, what not, or is it not? Let's put it on top. Is it not? You have to say them together if you can translate it like that. Sha'amad la kasef. That he stopped to adjust. Kasef means adjust. The urchehu, which is normal. Or the way. Whoops, that's a mess. Uh, means the way, or it's normal. All right, normal. Ukatani Chayev. And nevertheless, we learned that he's Chayev. Now, when you do something normal, you, you usually you're not responsible. So the reason why he's Chayev is the Havale Lahazir. Because he should have warned. This is a question on Rabbi Yechanan. Lahazir means to warn. The Havale means he should have. So Gemara says, Loi. That's not, actually not the case. The case is Kisha Ahmad Lafush, where he stopped to rest. And when you stop to rest, then that, that's abnormal, and that's why you're Chayev. But really, you don't have to warn. Avalam al Mai. But if you stop to adjust my, what would the din be? The din would be pater. Okay. Now, if that's the case, so adatani seifa. Adatani means you have to divide that word up. This means instead. Instead. And tani means to learn. Whoops. Learn. Uh, let's see if I can write that clear. Instead of learning in the Seifa, and we'll put this in quotes because this is what the Seifa says, if he tells the owner of the barrel, stop, then putter, then he's going to be putter. So instead of saying that in the Seifa, we could restate this. I'll make a different color here. you able to see what's a quote from the Seifa. And what it wants to say in the Seifa, instead of that, we'll make it a slightly lighter. You'll see what it could be. Lift leg velisni bedida. Divide and learn it with itself. And what we'll say in the Seifa instead is this. When do we say that? If you stop to rest, that's why Yechayev avalam and lakasif. But if you stop to adjust, then pater. That's what maybe we sh maybe we should say in the Seifa if there's a difference between lafush and lakatif, to rest or to adjust. Talking about stopping in the middle of the street to rest or to stopping in the middle of the street to adjust it on your shoulders. So now what we're holding is is that we don't like to learn the Mishnah, the ratio of this Mishnah that is talking about where you stop to rest. Because then why does the Seifa say that the case where you put to was when you stopped when you stopped and you announced that to the person behind you that, you, that uh, you're stopping, and he told him to stop. I could have learned to say for another case where it's potter, and that is where you stop to rest, is automatically potter. And Reb Nachman Yitzchak would not hold that, but um, that you're potter in the, uh, if you stop to rest, but Reb Yechanan would. Now, since the Seifa doesn't say that, where you stop to, re to, to adjust, and that's why you're putter. Rather, it says the case where your putter is when you announce to the person behind you. That means that actually if you stop to rest, if you stop to adjust, you should be chayev. So that original question comes back. So the Gemara now answers, and it says, rather, uh, it's coming to teach us, or to let us hear, that even though that you stop to rest, which is totally illegal, but ki ka'amarlai, when he tells to him, ki over here means when, ka'amarlai, when he says to him, labal chavis, to the owner of the barrel, amoid, stop, because he's walking behind him, so he's like putting his brake lights on, so he's putter. He would still be putter even though he wasn't allowed to stop. 
uh, to rest. So the example was a uh, um, practical example. Someone, let's say, is driving on the highway and he stops, he gets out of the car to pick up a quarter that he sees. So well, that's totally illegal, I assume. I don't know the rules, but I assume you can't stop to pick up a quarter when the speed limit's 55 or, sp or 65. Uh, but because he took out the cones, um, those red cones that tell people to avoid him, even though what he's doing is illegal, but nevertheless, they should have seen the cones and uh, swerved around him. The fact that they bumped into him, so that's their fault, which is a chiddush, which is a chiddush. Uh, and that's the chiddush of the Sefer. That's why it doesn't say um, what it should say according to Rabbi Yechanan. So nevertheless, Rabbi Yechanan's din is correct, that you don't have to warn the person uh, because you're busy standing up or whatever the case is, you don't have to warn. But um, uh, so why doesn't it say that? Because it's telling me another chiddush. Okay.